Hi, Debbie here with another episode of Crack the Vault. Now, this is a year-long collaboration hosted by Poet Spice. And this is where we go into our vault and get out things that we've been hoarding. Now, we will be uploading our videos the third Friday of every month, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Well, this is what I'm going to be working on this month. I found I have a 12 by 12 and an 8 by 8 paper pad of Alice from Stamperia that I had plans and just never, and I never used it. So I have this that I'm going to be working with. And I also, a little baggie over here, I also have all the little chipboard pieces. And I also have in the bag, these are resin pieces of Alice. Now, I probably will not be using the resin pieces, but this is what I am going to be coming up with some kind of a project to use this. And I'll show you what I've come up with. Well, I put an album together because that was what I was originally going to do is just make a little like a folio and but for some reason don't know why I had a very very hard time using this paper I just wasn't happy with it I don't know why what that was but anyway I started with an insert this was going to be this see I actually use the back of the cover of the um, paper line I was going to have this, you know, just go in one of the pages. I was just going to attach it to, actually to the very first page like this. That was my plan. But since I am so unhappy with this paper, I kind of like got stuck. I started it and this is what it looks like right now. And there's a little pocket, you know, a little tuck spot here for one of the little tags from the, from, you know, from the paper line. Now I actually did use some of the chipboard pieces here because I wanted to cover up since this was the cover of the, um, like this here, like the cover, and it had this piece, I wanted to cover that up. I didn't want that in, so I just used one of the little chipboard pieces to do that. And I did the same thing over here. I just covered it up. And I also made a little tuck spot over here for one of the little teeny little tags. But this was the main thing I wanted to do. I wanted to do this waterfall that I saw. Amanda, who is create created by Scrimpy Mommy or whatever her name is. I'll have her link in the description box below. She did this push waterfall where you push this up and it goes like that. This is, well, I just don't, this is the first time I've done a, a push one, I think. I can't remember if I did it maybe years and years and years ago. I don't remember. But anyway, this was what I wanted to do with this paper was just make a little folio with a bunch of different places to put photos, you know, with waterfalls and flip out pieces. But I got stuck right here on first page and I just can't get into doing anymore. I'm just like, I've got, I've got a little stamp that I was going to stamp right here and it's going to say push. It's from this, I got this little thing years ago and it had a little thing that says push. Push here. I was going to stamp that to say push so they would know to push. But anyway, this is as far as I've got, and I, I don't know if I'm going to do any more because I'm just like so stumped with this paper. I think it's because too many of the papers have, um, like, I don't know, cut aparts or, yeah, too many of these. You know, like you can't, you know, it's like, it'd be different if it had this and then had like a solid design on the background that you could use for a page. But when it's like this, it's very hard for me to, to wrap myself around something like this to make a page. Because I like using solid pieces like that for my, for my bases. And there just isn't enough in this, this set, this little Alice set. So I don't know. I think I'm going to be just so done with this. <laughs> I think this is as far as I'm going to get with this this month. Hopefully I'll pick out a better paper next month when I do this because I do have still have plenty more to go through. And um, I don't know. I'm just, there's just something about this I'm just not happy with. I don't know. And I just can't, I just can't go on. I mean, it's two days this has been bugging me. And well, anyway, thank you for watching. I'm rattling off. And um, don't forget to check out all the other participants. I'm sure they had better luck this month than I did. And... Um, like I said, I'll have all the information in the description box below where you can go over and check out everybody. So, like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.